Hey Liz Karchner here. I'm excited to share my next video for this series in the Mood to Scrap. It's a really fun series where designers are inspired by putting together images and other inspiration they find online or in magazines or wherever they find sorts of inspiration. And then we put it together on a mood board and then we share how that inspired our layout. So this is my mood board for this month. You can see there's a lot of mint and the mint is used with a technique called ombre. So it's a gradient um, from light to dark and you can see it on the cake and the painting and the sweater. I was really inspired by the color palette in the dishes as well as the colors in the top middle photo. And I love those tights. I think they're so darling. And I just had to include them. And then as well as the hello on the far right, I love the circles with the letters for the title. All right, I'm going to share some of the supplies I got together for this lesson. This is my new line of thickers from my Lucky Charm collection. And also these round um, alphabet thickers from Crate Paper. I used this, um, these little chevron thickers from the back side of what I was showing. And these little L Studio cards I used behind some photos. Um, you can gather some of your unused thickers. I used them for painting this lesson and I'm going to share a technique for that. And these are all foam so it um, is really easy to paint on and I'll share what I did with those. And I also used a couple of Maggie Holmes products. I love those tiny bows and I use some of those phrase stickers. And this is um, another set of stickers from my Lucky Charm collection and also a little book that I'll use pieces from. And I used a two inch circle punch. I also used some white paint and then some Mr. Huey to color the white paint and so you can get out any color mist that you want if you want to try out this technique and I also used my new phrase stamp it's like the date roller stamp but it's just the phrases and it's really fun I've heard a lot of people that are in, enjoying it on their using it on their projects and then those are the my mind's eye epoxy stickers this is you're going to need just a little bit thicker than cardstock to paint on and put the letters on. And then also just an assortment of pattern paper. Here's a quick close up of the finished layout where you can see the painted thickers in the background and then also how we incorporate the different stickers and layering. All right, I want you to pull out some white thickers and it'd be awesome if you have some packages of thickers that um, you're kind of holding on to but they're almost gone from letters so that way you can use your supplies up but these are foam because the foam is much easier to paint and absorb the paint as opposed to like a glossy chipboard and I'm just gonna add the letters just randomly on this page there's nothing really to think about you just are gonna be adding them and fitting them in and organizing them and like I said, I'm using lots of numbers and letters I typically don't use and try to use stickers that you um, have just hanging around because they're almost gone, but you can't throw them away. I cannot ever get myself to get rid of thickers. You just hold on to them, right? But anyways, keep adding those on and organizing them. And, um, and like I said, there's no rhyme or reason. Just kind of have fun. And then once you get close to the edge, have your letters or numbers be coming off of the edge. And then once you, so don't you don't need to fit the letter on. It looks better if the letter or the number is kind of hanging off the edge. And then we'll just take some scissors and quickly trim those edges so they're nice and straight. And my white sheet measures 8 inches by 10 inches. It's actually like the heavier piece that they put in your um, photo paper package. So I just save those and set it aside. And I'm using it for this. 
All right, now we're ready to move on to the fun part and paint our letters and numbers. I'm just adding six dollops of white paint and then I have my Mr. Huey, it's the mint julep shade. And I'm going to add an extra squirt to each of those. So I start with one squirt and then the last one has six. So it'll be a darker shade. And then I'm gonna use my craft knife and mix those up. So as you can see, it's lighter. Oh, it just has like a barely touch of mint. And then the last one is, is darker. So I'm just going to mix those up and I love to use my recycle my packaging for paint. So this is actually um, something I was just going to throw away but they work perfect like clamshells and other packaging actually works perfect for paint. So I love holding on to some of those so I have them on hand. And then you're just going to use a foam brush. I just used a one inch foam brush and start at the bottom and work your way towards the top just lighter to darker. I just had to mix a little bit more here. So it's easy to keep track because the first one I just had one squirt of mist so I can it's easy to add more paint if you need to. And I need to put something back here because I'm getting my desk super messy. But I'm just adding it to the the letters and the numbers and also the background the background paper so I'm just gonna move up to the next section and just paint that on as well I'm gonna see what the last layer is gonna look like so I wanted to, I was impatient and I wanted to see the darker shade. So I moved up to the last section and it definitely needed to be a little darker so I'm just adding more mist and blotting that on. So you'll be able to see just a more, it's gradual but I wanted the very end to be really dark. And this technique is really forgiving, so you just have fun with it and you can't really, you really honestly can't mess it up because if there's something you don't like or if something turned out darker or lighter or you didn't want it, you could just um, add a little bit more paint here and there and just have fun. See that one was a little bit light, so I need to add a little bit more mist. And so far it's looking how I want it. I just, um... I just want to just add a little bit more mist to that the top to make it a little bit darker. Then you just keep blending and painting wherever you think it needs it. Oh, my hand is stuck. Um, I'm just going to keep adding just so it's more drastic. I, I keep adding white to the bottom and then more color to the top and then it's starting to look how I want it. But you should give this technique a try. If you, even if you just wanted to paint thickers all one color, I've done that as well. And it's just a fun way to add just cool dimension to your, to the paper. And using your supplies and having fun painting. And just trying new things and see what you like. But it's starting to look good. It's starting to blend more. I'm probably going to add more dark to the top. And you can see why I liked some of the letters going off the edge. So it looks, doesn't look quite so placed. It almost looks like it was made that way, the paper, and you just cut it. A little bit more at the bottom. There we go. All right, I kind of started to place some of the things that I'm going to include on my layout. And I'm going to move those. The base of my page is going to be white cardstock. And I'm going to just add some misting drops to the white cardstock. 
as the base before I add anything else. And I just spray it into my lid and then I drop the um, mist onto my page. So it just leaves a nice random splatter of paint. And I'm also going to use, this is where I'm going to use my phrase stamp. And I'm just going to add a couple of the phrases here to the cardstock. And I kept in mind where I was putting the um, pattern paper and the other elements so I knew where to stamp. Alright, after the misting dried or didn't dry, sometimes I'm impatient and I just start working anyways. I'm just adding, I added the uh, painted paper and a strip of pattern paper. I added my 3x3 three three photos, there's three of them, and some other pattern paper. Now I'm just having fun with the stickers and figuring out where I want to put them. And... I'm going to add some more stickers off of the page onto the cardstock. And what I have right now, I feel like there's like a good balance of mint and white. And then I'm just adding this pop of red. And I feel like it needed it along the top. So I'm just going to cut a piece of pattern paper and attach it to the top. And then I slightly just folded down the edge of that paper just because especially it's by the letters that have a lot of dimension and so it just flows better. And I'm adding some thickers along the top as well. And I'm going to use some of these epoxy stickers from my mind's eye on the phrase stickers. What I like to do for my title placement is I'll use either a ruler or something that the thickers won't really cling to very well and I'll um, place them how I want them and then I can kind of move it around my page and see where I want to put those before I make a final decision and then I'll attach those down and these circle thickers are really forgiving actually so I wasn't like too technical about it but some of the other ones are a little bit trickier and so I'll use a ruler because it's really nice. You can see where you're putting them and how far apart. For this layout, I printed journaling strips. And lately when I go back and look at my scrapbook pages over the years, I really like the ones where I can see my handwriting. Even though I am not a huge fan of my handwriting, I feel like it just gives a connection with me and the page. And then maybe someday my kids will... Um, feel that connection as well and they'll appreciate it but I so this one I did a mix of handwriting and type journaling and then of course I just need to add my Maggie Holmes bow for my last finishing touch thanks so much for watching this lesson I hope it inspires you in your scrapbooking and in your creating and I would love to see your projects trying this ombre technique of painting. And you don't have to use the letters, but just maybe try using that um, technique on something on your layouts. But thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.